親父は俺に何を見せたかったんでしょうかこれは肖像画 Girl, I didn't even have it on. Ooh, I look so tired, and that's because I am, because I'm in pageant mode right now. So I'm really excited about this video because、uh, every day I get about 100 DMs asking me this same question that I'm going to answer today a survival guide. Of sorts for web developers. It basically states what you need to do in each step of your journey, and we're gonna go over that today. You can actually download it on my website, I linked it below. There's no, no need to sign up, it's totally free. I would never charge you for anything, friend, because education should be free. Not everyone has access to be able to pay for education, so、um, any resources I ever make, create, or do is always gonna be free. Plus, you watching this and engaging with my sponsored posts and things like that, that helps me out a lot. So, just like the video. And that's it. <laughs> that's all I ask. If you are new here, my name is b a n d a n d o r I have a bachelor's in science in computer science and two minors in math and Africana studies. Currently, the reigning Miss Los Angeles US and competing in Miss California US this weekend. Ooh, that was fast. That may sound like I have my life together, but I absolutely do not. So, this channel is about getting my life together and hopefully helping you along the way. If that interests you, subscribe and keep watching. If you've already got the guide downloaded, then we'll just go over it together. So,、um, in the first stage of the robot, it's called What to Learn. Uh, a lot of people always ask me what's the best language to get started with. I noticed that people start off with JavaScript, and I don't recommend that just because JavaScript is it's kind of a tough language, especially when you don't even know what a variable is.、Uh, JavaScript will kick your butt. So、um, I always recommend Python. Because it's just so readable, it's practically pseudocode, so I think it's a great beginner first language, even if you do want to be a front end developer. But if you just want to go straight into JavaScript because you want to just be a front end developer, like back end can go to hell, then give it a whirl. For front end, I have JavaScript because that's basically the only programming language that is super, super. Necessary to sit down and learn. I know there's HTML and CSS also, but that's pretty easy to pick up. And you probably already know that. And then for my backend language, I choose Python because of the things I just stated, and I'm basically the Python mascot. The bonus languages I put were Java, Command Line, and SQL. Java, because I think it's just a great tool to have in your belt. Uh, especially if you want to go into mobile app development,、uh, especially if you just want to be more well rounded as a programmer.、Uh, command line, also, you're gonna, you're gonna need to know command line. You're gonna know how to work with your terminal, how to access、uh, files, and things like that. And SQL is just, just to know how to query relational databases. It's not like necessary, but it's good to just know. The next step is. Where to learn. So, for textbooks, there's a link here. It's called genlibrush.ec. So, originally, it's called, it was called, when I was in school, libgen.io. It's where you can basically find every textbook on the planet, most textbooks on the planet. I've saved so many friends in spending like $300 on textbooks or books in general.、Uh, I don't think it's legal. But you know, education should be free, so that's where you can find that. Hopefully, I don't get sued.、Um, websites, W3Schools is a great resource. I have that written down. Skillshare, like I said, even though I chose them as a sponsor, does not mean that I won't be using them every day for the rest of my life. Laracast, also, if you are learning Laravel, that's a popular back end framework.、Um, I didn't add For websites, but basically just the documentation. So, if you go on any languages website, they have documentation for you that you can like look through if you need to know if they have a function that does this for a shortcut or a function that sorts and all that kind of stuff. Just go on their documentation websites, they're usually pretty detailed.、Uh, for YouTube, I put programming with Mosh, such 
a great resource. He even has like cheat sheets for certain languages that he has on his website. New Boston, I used him to learn uh, C++, Free Code Camp, Traverser, I never know how to say that, Traversy Media, also a great YouTube channel. I learned how to use the view framework using them actually. And then TikTok, Maya Loves Code, she has really great and adorable TikToks on how to learn Python. Each video is like a different thing. So there's a list, there's variables, and then she just, she makes them really fun. So that's something that you can just like sit on the toilet and look through as well. Once you have figured out where to learn this, we're gonna go down to the tools you need. It does not matter what IDE you use. It doesn't matter. So long as it compiles your code, does not matter, but I just wrote ones that I really like. I really like PyCharm for Python. Spider is a good one that's free. Uh, for PyCharm, you can download it on JetBrains, and I believe if you have a student email, which, life hack, if you just sign up for a community college, you get a free school email, and you can just use that. <laughs> and you can get all of their, um, their IDEs for free, so, PyCharm, PHPStorm, things like that. I also put down VS Code or Visual Studio's Code or NetBeans. Uh, NetBeans, I used my entire college career. So both great IDs. Uh, also, you need GitHub and Git. So GitHub is basically just a code hosting platform where you can collaborate with other people. Also, it's great for you to add your project onto GitHub. That way you can send it to employers. Kind of like a portfolio, but for code. Does that make sense? Git is their command line tool. And I promise you guys, I know command line looks scary, but I promise you, your life will move so much faster when you learn how to use the command line. What's next? Okay, so also tools that you need are either WAMP, MAMP, or LAMP. I know it sounds like I just made that up if you've never heard those things before. I'll list what each of those things mean around the video because this video will take forever if I don't do that. But uh, if you are a complete beginner, I would definitely recommend either using WAMP, MAMP, or LAMP, which are the same exact things, but it's specific to your OS. So WAMP is for Windows, MAMP is for Mac, and LAMP is for Linux. Another tool that you'll need is LinkedIn and my friend. What have I said about networking? LinkedIn is so important, so important because it helps you network. You can join other people's literally network. It's called like network. It's like a friend group or a friend list, but it's network instead. Uh, you can see what other people post. You can see if somebody is hiring. You can apply for jobs through LinkedIn as well. So definitely recommend LinkedIn. You can even put your resume on there, all the classes that you took, all the language that you know, things like that. Also, another thing is you don't need to know that many languages. I think everyone tries to learn every language, which is what I did. I think I was skilled at seven languages by the time I graduated, but it's so unnecessary because I'm only using like three of them, you know? So as long as you know one language really, really well, you're totally fine. And the final little stop here on our roadmap is how to get better slash interview prep. Now, I'm excited about this because I am determined to get you a job, okay? So the first thing I have on here is hack rank and lead code every day. Now, listen to me. Hack rank and lead code are hard, okay? They are hard. This just is what it is. I still take, it still takes me like hours to figure out like the hard levels of hacker rank sometimes to figure out their challenges. So please do not feel discouraged when you are on the easy questions and you just feel like you can't get it because even the easy questions are like ridiculous. I think it took me like two hours to solve one of the easy questions. It's like labeled easy and you're just like, why? So don't feel ashamed to not get it the first few times. Like, it takes time to learn how to program. So if you're at like the two or three hour mark, just look at the answer because you will learn a lot more from the answer than struggling any longer. You can see other people's answers from around the world. It's so cool to see how someone uh, approaches a certain problem. And now you have that knowledge in your head and you know, okay, I can approach it from this angle, not this angle. 
You know what I mean? It's all about the angles of how you solve a problem, you know? So I say all that to say, do not feel discouraged if you get stuck because you will get stuck. But if you keep doing it every day, you will get better and better and better and better. Thing I have on here is hackathons. That's a great way to network, a great way to boost your skills, and a great way to add to your repertoire. Next thing, recreating your favorite website. This is something my mentor would tell me all the time. He would make me recreate Amazon. So every time I'm learning a new language, I would learn the basics, the intermediate, learn how their syntaxes are compared to a language that I already know really well, and then recreate Amazon from the top down. That was the fastest way to learn for me. I learned by doing. I don't know your learning style, but hopefully that helps. <laughs> uh, Builtin.com, really great. Uh, it depends on your city. So like I live in LA, Los Angeles. I would go to builtinla.com. That's a great place to apply for jobs. They're mainly startups. So very, very, very uh, new grad, new bootcamp grad, self-taught, friendly. Glassdoor.com, also a fantastic resource. <clears throat> great for figuring out company culture, interview questions. Payscale.com, really great for knowing what you're worth. Oh my God, me and my friend used to do that every single day. We would just play around with the numbers. Okay, if I learn this language, then I'll make this much more. If I, if I do that, then I'll make that much more. We were just, we were fools, but it's a great way to know um, your worth before you go into an interview. That way, when you do get an offer, you can measure their offer versus um, what you feel like you're worth and go from there with negotiations. Senegatis, I had to. Uh, the Come Up, ugh, love her channel. She's also a great resource for learning the ins and outs of tech and just overall inspiration, okay? My good sis is doing it. Coding Blonde on Instagram. She is such a great resource. She sends out newsletters. I definitely think her Instagram is noteworthy. Also, Black Coders. They are a great Instagram to find beginner guides, overall inspiration, and just funny things. So I definitely recommend you check out their Instagram as well. And that's it, friend. I hope this like quick little guide helps you out honestly uh it's totally free like i said please don't feel the need to like give me your email or anything like that dm me if you have any questions again i get hundreds of dms so it does take me some time to uh go through them but i always get to you leave a comment below if you have any questions on these things any additions Ooh, if you have anything to add uh, any corrections because i'd be talking off the top of my head <laughs> also i have started a second channel uh link is below where i want you to get to know me a little, a little bit more i want to talk about anime morning routines night routines fitness stuff mental health pageants miss california is coming up basically getting our lives together <laughs> The difference between this channel and that channel is that I feel like I want to keep this channel more tech related. That one is just going to be the other facets of me in this whole getting our lives together chart. <laughs> if that sounds fun to you, please go ahead and subscribe to that and I will see you there and I will see you in the next video as well. Okay. Bye.